Hey, we're back in the sim here at JFK. Recently, we got asked to do a video from some comments, so thank you, about how to make spad.next uh, give us some callouts. The specific one was about positive rate. So let's go ahead, do a quick lap so you can uh, hear what we did just for fun, uh, and then we'll jump real quick in how to do it. So the first one is the positive rate. So the good old call out that you do, uh, you know, put the flaps away. Depends on the airplane you have, but uh, you know, sometimes it's the gear, but we'll see. All right, so there we go. We are off. And now let's go ahead and start climbing with a nice climb rate. Positive rate. So there you heard the positive rate. And yes, I decided to use my own voice. So now we can go ahead, clean up the flaps because we know we have a positive rate of climb. All right, so let's go ahead and we will uh, throw a quick left-hand pattern. Now, just for fun, I uh, added a few other ones of my own just for fun hence why we're doing this quick lap in the pattern 50 40 30 20 10. Retard, retard. So how do we do this? What we did was we came into spad.next, our favorite application. And we used the script panel. Now, if you don't have the script panel enabled, also, I think you need the complete edition, but if you don't have it enabled, make sure to come in to devices, uh, script panel, make sure it's on. You'll have to reset and restart the application if it's not uh, on and you turn it back on. All right, so we come to the script panel and well, First thing we look at is positive rate. So I created one for positive rate. And basically you click on one of these, click on add event, and it's gonna ask you to set up your conditions and all of that. So when we look at the conditions that we set up, by the way, labels down here, pause rate. So what we have to do is create some conditions that all have to be met and I chose 100 feet uh, above ground so we use the radio height so this is exactly when we're 50 feet or sorry 100 feet uh, above the physical ground so it'll always work don't have to worry about MSL or anything that's going on with your altimeter setting uh, it will do this in reference to the ground. And I chose for is greater than 100. With how fast it goes, it's hard to get it right on 100. And because of that, you're going to have to also make sure that you throw in is less than 101. That way, it'll tick off uh, and you also won't get repeat. With one foot, it seemed to work uh, pretty well. Now, obviously, if we try this on uh, airliners, there's a potential that this range may need to increase. And you can see that I kind of added this after I'd already created this. Normally, I would have done radio height greater than 100, radio height less than 101. And then the other and condition is the vertical speed. Now, this one got me at first. And what you'll notice is when you come in, and you look for the sim connect vertical speed. This value is actually in feet 
per second. So since it's in feet per second, and I took 150, I divided by 60, and I got in the neighborhood of 3.3. So we selected vertical speed as the data value we chose is greater than, and we chose a value of 3.3. So 3.3 feet per second, which is 150 uh, feet per minute, which is what your VSI reads at as feet per minute. That would validate the condition because the script panel is always running. And then we added an action. So we hit add action. We went to play sound and then we went and selected the sound file. So I went ahead and in my documents folder under spad.next, I created a sounds folder and here I dropped in a bunch of sounds that I wanted to use. Now, obviously, uh, you could probably find sounds somewhere on the internet. Uh, I had a little bit of fun and I did those using Audacity. So let's go ahead. We'll uh, hop on over to Audacity and we'll show you how we made them. So at this point, we want to jump into Audacity. It's free to download if you haven't already. Uh, and the key is we want to, I guess, just use our voice to record. It'll be the easiest way for us to do it. So in the drop down, I make sure to pick where my microphone is coming from. Uh, it could be your mic director. In this case, I use voice meter. So on the auxiliary output, the VBB output. So now that we've got that, we can click on start monitoring. And you could see the audio bumps with your voice. And when you stop talking, it goes down to nothing. Now, this is the easiest way to create the sounds that we want spad.next to play back. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit record and I'm going to say the phrase. Positive rate. And then we hit stop because, you know, you got to do radio voice. And then we're going to come to this edge. Or is it this edge? Uh... We want that and we're going to grab this edge. We're going to come to here. We're going to go to edit and we're going to go to trim audio. So here, same thing. We're going to highlight all this right up to the edge. And then we're going to hit delete, pull it in. That'll work. So let's go ahead and save or sorry, export to, I think wave will work. Um, positive rate. So I made a sounds folder under my documents, bad next folder. I'm sure you can find sounds or put them anywhere you want. Uh, I'm going to put this here for pause rate. And I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Uh, yeah, overlap and click OK. So now I'm going to do the same thing for a 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, retard, retard, uh, just for fun. So uh, let's go ahead and do those real quick. We'll see you on the other side. Now that we know how to use Audacity to make and create our audio files, uh, you can see we went ahead and we created positive rate and I made my own uh, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, retard, retard. Uh, and I named them, you know, A320s for fun. So I've left these sound files inside of this folder and then you can play the sound. You can play the sound loop. You could stop the sound. So I played the sound once and I put the volume uh, all the way um, up. So we just grab this, slide it all the way up uh, so that it'll be a little bit louder. All right, so once we've uh, created that, we make sure pause the rate. I chose to end processing yes and ignore 
power state. Because um, I guess those things don't really matter since we're flying. But anyway. For the feet, I did something very similar. Except we went radio height for 50 feet. So greater than 50, less than 51. So this way it'll kick off that 50 um, basically when we're crossing 50. But I set my vertical speed to be less than zero. So we want to be in a descent at minimum. That way on climb out, this will never fire. Named it 50 feet, clicked OK. And looking at a 40, uh, similar type thing. 40, 41, and less than zero. And then picking my sound, cranking that audio all the way up. Uh, and naming it. So there we go. Real quick, we'll hit the positive rate now that we know what we're doing uh, to kind of hear that happen. Positive rate. And there it is. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Retard, retard. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And any other suggestions or requests, let me know. Leave them in the comments. See you later.